actually the last conversation that I had with Emra. He approached Sergeant Hull, our platoon commander, and myself towards the end of AT and had a small concern with how he could better himself. He said, uh, do you think I'm a bad Marine? We're kind of caught off guard by the question. Um, like, no, why do you ask? I mean, we always make fun of the length of your hair, but it's within regs, so we'll let it go. And uh, he's like, well, I just don't want you to think that. And I want you guys to know that I want to do this and I want to be the best Marine I can be. So please let me know whatever I can do to better myself. And I think that that example uh, held true the entire time he was in the Marine Corps. He was always looking to better himself. He, uh, he was never around, which was strange at first, but then it was because he was working so hard he could never find him. Congratulations to a well-deserved promotion. Uh, Aries would have been promoted today. And like I said, it's very well deserved. He was always hard working. I had the honor of serving with Arius for a couple months after he joined the unit. He was one of the first Marines to join the unit right after I did. We were both relatively new. So right off the bat, we started to bond because we were the new guys. He joined at age like what, 28, 27, when he was already making like a lot of money. He didn't do it for himself. He didn't, he just, you know, it was like the most selfless act like I've seen in a very long time. Something that really resonated um, with me, we were talking about it today, um, Aries is aged. It's kind of hard to come in here as a 28 year old man and take orders and learn from people who are 19 to 22. And with, with Aries it was never like that and for a lot of older people it's hard to do that and they get somewhat bitter and with him it was, like, it was never like that. This past annual training we just had I got pretty close to him. I can honestly say he's probably one of my best friends of the unit. He never drank, never smoked. He wasn't about any of that. Even when he had a big reunion with his buddies, I think that stick with me because he always showed that, you know, he, he doesn't care about like what others think. He just lives his life how he wanted to. I needed to go to swim call and I didn't have extra boots. So I could have just jumped in the pool with my boots and then had like wet boots for the rest of the day. But immediately Arius was like, no, no, I, I, got, I got you for you, Corporal. Uh, walked over to his truck, he's like, here, here you go, just give him back whenever. Um, didn't second guess it, wasn't like, oh, I don't know if these are gonna get, like, I don't want these to get wet, so uh, I'm not gonna help out or anything, but uh, it's just little things like that that made him a great Marine. It really shocked me when I found out how old Arius was when he told me, because I thought he was, you know, 21, 22. And the fact that he was a grown man when he made the decision to join the Marines is, is really amazing. Like the one thing he would not uh, change or take would be his hair. That was his one thing. And then when we were out there in, in North Carolina, Camp Lejeune, man, I, I just saw just greatness came from him. And it was just kind of like motivating to see like, hey, this kid's good. He's just really easy to get along with. And he made the best out of every situation. That was something that I really liked. He used this great sense of humor to just bring the good out of everything. A guy who would always make you laugh and smile. Hey Buxton, my good friend. And I'd cheer you up even when times were pretty harsh and you know, nobody really liked being out in the field, but he'd make things better and I think that's something we all should strive to do. Me and him have this inside joke. Whenever he saw me, he would go, sorry man. You got your beef ravioli, your cheese spread jalapenos, and we bread in there. <laughs> uh, so when we were in North Carolina, me and Arius, uh, I realized that he talks to his dad on the phone almost as much as I do. And on Father's Day, the first thing he says to me when I wake up in the morning is, hey, make sure you call your dad today. Today's Father's Day. And uh, for at least 20 minutes straight, me and him sat back to back, and we are just on the phones with our dads. I just kind of realized that he had the same love for his father that I do for mine, and that was just cool to connect with somebody like that. At the time, PSC Arius, I got an email, uh, July 10th, and it was, Marines to be promoted here. On that list was Lance Corporal Arius. I just want to thank you for raising such a, a good man, and being able for him to come into my life and make and make me aware of these things. I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna learn from it. I'm uh, honored that he was in my life for no matter how short it was. Lance Corporeus was 
one of the fantastic Marines of this unit. Just outstanding person. It was an honor to have served with him and uh, my pleasure to be considered one of his leaders. We will remember him forever. Thank you, and it was an honor to have served with him. He's going to be missed, and it was an honor to serve with him. There's been a few Marines that can pass through a unit and nobody ever notices them. There's other Marines that really make an impact on everybody around them. Arius was one of those Marines.